Are you finding it increasingly challenging to connect with your teenage daughter amidst the chaos of daily life? Do you ever wonder how to cultivate a deeper bond with her beyond the short surface level interactions? Well, in today's episode, we're going to explore three practical ways to enhance your relationship and foster meaningful connections with your teen. From scheduling quality time to embracing silence and stillness, we're going to dive into actionable tips designed to strengthen your bond and create lasting memories together. So mama, grab your notebook and let's go. Hey mama, welcome to Raising Her Confidently. Do you want to have open communication with your teen daughter? Do you find yourself constantly thinking about how to talk to your teen or why your girl is not opening up to you? Do you wake up with confident intentions only to feel confused and frustrated when all you get are one word answers from your daughter again? Hey, I'm Jeannie. I too was a mom raising young teens. I too felt grieved by the loss of my sweet, talkative little girl. I wanted her to come to me about anything, even if she was scared, and listen to my advice. But I kept thinking, she won't listen to me, and I don't know how to approach her until I found tools to create open communication. In this podcast, you will find how to connect and talk to your team and create a safe space for her to go to so that you will have that close relationship you dreamed of. Go grab your glass of Merlot and throw off those fuzzy slippers and let's dig in together. One thing I love to do on top of doing this podcast and serving you mamas is also helping moms one-on-one in the weeds, raising their tween or teen girl, mamas who feel all of a sudden disconnected with their once young, cuddly girl and now entering the tween stage and have no clue what to do with her. So I got a chance to talk to one of my moms and this is what she said. I was in a bad place with my 14-year-old daughter this summer when I decided to take the bold move to enroll onto the Talk to Your Teen Girl framework. After as little as two weeks into the course, I learned how to communicate more effectively with my 14-year-old daughter. I feel now I have the tools to handle conversations better and approach my daughter with love, empathy, and without judgment, something I honestly struggled with before. The result, my daughter recently told me I am her safe person. Well, we are enjoying a closeness now that I would only have dreamt of before. It's a work in progress, but I have the tools now. Thanks to Jeannie, I am beyond grateful for this. Absolutely amazing to see how quick my friend Carly got a result in as little as two weeks and started to see the changes in her daughter and the way she interacted with her daughter simply by shifting the way she needed to interact with her girl. This level of connection bridged in just a few short weeks of Talk to Your Teen Girl framework. You're probably wondering what exactly is in the Talk to Your Teen Girl framework. I'm a visual person, so I get you. I like to be able to visualize exactly what I'm getting into, and I like seeing the steps to fully grasp what I would be learning. So I totally get it. So here it is. In this course, you get access to five modules, which you can complete at your own pace. Typically, they are about one week each. You have access to a private Facebook mom tribe community. You get a workbook containing your communication action plan and notes from the modules, plus I'm not done. Two bonuses. Not one, but two. 52 dates, ideas with your daughter, 11-page resource guide, and never run out of things to talk about with your daughter. Endless questions in various topics you can ask your girl. I believe in equipping moms with resources and tools ready at hand's length to use and utilize at any given time. So if you are still trying to grasp what it's this all looks like, I get you. Come and visit TalkToYourTeenGirl.com where I lay it out all for you. I'll see you there. Do you ever find yourself caught in the whirlwind of daily life, struggling to find meaningful moments to connect with your teenage daughter? Well, I mean, let alone her life being busy and yours. As moms, it's all too easy to get swept away by the chaos and the busyness leaving little time for, you know, genuine connection that you really, really desire. Well, the guilt weighs heavy on us as we juggle countless responsibilities and also compete with distractions like phones, TVs, and the never-ending tasks that demand our attention at home. 
Well, today we're going to navigate that through these challenges together. I hear you, Mama. I get it. It's a real thing. So we're going to explore practical strategies to carve out precious moments of quality time, embrace that stillness, and minimize distractions so that you can deepen your bond with your team. So let's head on out and discover connections and creating cherished moments amidst the hustle and bustle of what we call regular life. (laughs) I work from home. Being at home has its advantages. Flexible schedules. I'm able to do things necessary like drive the kids to school when they needed rides, to dance class, to doctor appointments without having to impact a huge work schedule, right? However, it does have its downfalls. I can use my time to fill it with work, with chores, with things to do, and continue to add on top of that. As I was raising my kids, QT time can quickly become mixed with the to-dos and lack of any depth or connection at the level that I wanted. So things needed to change. I realized that, and I had to first train myself to be aware of the lack of time I had and adjust accordingly. Maybe you mama are like me and work from home, piling on the to-dos, or maybe you work outside of the home, piling on the to-dos too when you get home. So I'm sharing three ways to practice mindful presence for better connections with your girl. You ready? Okay, number one, schedule quality time. Set aside specific times in your schedule dedicated to spending quality time with your team. Just like blocking off work in a work schedule, block off quality time. Make it a rock in your schedule, whether it's a weekly movie night, a Sunday morning walk, or a monthly outing. Prioritize these moments as non-negotiables. Put them in your schedule. They're rocks. By scheduling regular quality time together, You're going to ensure that both you and your daughter have opportunities to connect and bond even in these busy times, right? In the Talk to Your Teen Girl framework, I teach about creating a safe space so your girl can feel safe. Scheduling quality time like this is creating that safe space your girl needs. And then I teach you how to discern when to continually build that trust with her so that she'll open up to you. I found quite a few of my students already seeing a huge difference in the way their teens respond to them in just a short time through Talk to Your Teen Girl Framework. So scheduling quality time like this for them to feel safe is essential in creating that open communication that you desire, right? So schedule quality time. Number two, Embrace silence and stillness. Yes, mama, be comfortable with nothing. Be comfortable with quiet. And it sounds all too real, right? Too good to be true to just even block the silence and stillness, right? Embrace the silence and stillness. And you're probably thinking, gosh, in the chaos, silence and stillness, what is that? Well, incorporate moments of silence and stillness into your interactions with your team. Be okay with it being quiet. This could be as simple as sitting together in silence, right? I often say how I sit on my daughter's bedside before she goes to bed or, you know, when she's feeling the feels and just sitting there. Maybe enjoying the peacefulness of nature, going on a hike, sitting, I, I live close to the beach sitting on the sand, staring at the waves, or even practicing mindfulness exercises like deep breathing or meditation or even prayer, praying together. By embracing silence and stillness, you're creating space for meaningful connection and introspection, fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation for each other. There are a lot that can be said and a lot of connections that can be made with no words, but just being present in the stillness and silence and sharing that moment together. Number three, minimize distractions. That's an obvious, right? When spending time with your teen, minimize distractions to fully immerse yourself in the present moment. 
turn off your phones, turn off that iPad, turn off that Apple Watch, right? Silence notifications and create a distraction-free environment where you can focus solely on each other. Whether you're engaged in conversations, participating in activity, or simply enjoying each other's company, there's nothing more distracting or that can be a wrench in connection when your phone goes off notifying you somebody's either texted you, pinged you on something, or sent you a message through your social media, right? What a blocker of connection when we're distracted that way. So eliminating distractions allows you to connect on a deeper level and create cherished moments together that you would otherwise have missed being distracted by your phone. So there you have it. In the hustle and bustle of life, finding moments to connect with your teenage daughter may seem like a huge challenge. Yet, by implementing the strategies that we just talked about today that I shared with you, you can take intentional steps towards fostering a strong bond and creating these cherished moments together, right? Remember to schedule quality time. Making it a priority in your busy schedule. Make it a rock. Embrace the power of silence and stillness, which allows yourselves to connect on a deeper level beyond words. And finally, minimize your distractions to fully immerse yourself in the present moment. Savor each precious second together, right? By incorporating these practices into your routine, You're not only nurturing a stronger relationship with your teen, but also uh, creating a foundation of love and understanding that will last a lifetime. So go ahead, connect, and watch your relationship with your daughter blossom into something that really, Mama, is truly beautiful. So as we wrap up today's episode, I want to leave you with a powerful reminder The key to fostering strong relationships with your teenage daughter lies in open communication. It's a cornerstone that binds together the strategies that we just talked about today, right? If you're ready to take your connection with your teen to the next level, I want you to consider maybe talk to your teen girl framework is the right next step for you. The course that is designed to equip you with tools and techniques to nurture open, honest communication with your daughter. So let's do this together, mama. I want you to head on over to talktoyourteengirl.com. I'll see you there. Hey friend, if this podcast inspired you or encouraged you or helped you in any way, I'd love for you to share it. You can screenshot this episode and share it in your stories on social media or text it to a friend who can use the support. It's the best way you can thank me. I want to let other mamas know they are not alone. I'd love to stay connected with you. You can find me on Instagram at Jeannie Baldomero or join my free mom support community at linktree backslash Jeannie Baldomero. Until next time, live full of grace, Jeannie.